Hello, sir. It's November 7th, a Thursday. I'm stressed out about Nano because I've been busy with school and with work and things like that, and I'm only at 2,244 words, which is nowhere near where I should be because that is what I should have been at on, like, day two, and it's day seven. Uh, also, I'm, like, super jealous of all these people who've heard about your nano novel. Like, people keep commenting me, like, I've heard Sarah told me about my her nano novel, and that is not real English that I just used, sorry. But, yeah, they keep saying that you told them about your nano novel, and it's gonna be awesome. Why do I... Why do I not know about your nano novel? Either tell me in video blog or in person, but I want to hear about it, because it sounds apparently epic. Uh, mine's a little bit weird. It's kind of a story idea that Rochelle and I came up with when we drove up the canyon, and um, it has to do with Faye and vampires, and it's kind of a comedy of errors, and if that doesn't tell you everything you need to know, I don't know what will. Uh, also, I'm kind of stressed out about being like a temporary kitten parent because um, I'm really bad at it, I think. Well, not terrible at it, but sometimes I'm like, man, it's a good thing I don't have real children because I can hardly handle a cat, like... <sighs> but kittens and children are kind of alike sometimes because, I mean, they both need to be, like, fed and, like, taken care of and, like, they're adorable about half the time and they're annoying and obnoxious the other half of the time. And... I don't know. But I, like, get stressed out about the fact that I'm like, man, maybe I should never have children because clearly I am not equipped to handle it. Because <laughs> uh, it like little nine week old two pound kitten can stress me out and um yeah but I'm convinced he's like part dog because Leo he like he chases his own tail and he begs for people food like if you are eating something he will sit at your feet or climb on you and just meow like consistently until either you get up or leave or you're done eating and I'm like Leo this is people food you can't have it I'm not going to feed you this cheese or this sandwich or this salad that I'm eating. Go away. <laughs> he doesn't seem to understand that. Yeah. I don't know. But mostly I've just been thinking about how stressed I am about Nano and the fact that I am nowhere near where I need to be and the fact that I'm kind of growing up and I don't really want to. And that I'm probably too quick to judge because I'm not a parent and I don't have kids or baby goats or like a child that I've birthed or a child that I take care of but in taking care of a kitten I kind of realize that parents have it rough and I should probably give them more credit so I will leave you with my last line which is Lennox stiffened, torn from his thoughts by the tingle of someone using magic nearby. Uh, with that, keep being authentically... Yeah. Awesome. Good luck with Nano.